Mark Owen there with that report from Jordan. Okay, well, moving on now, and we're joined on set by France 24's book critic, Cathy Kazir Clifford, to take us through this year's Rentrée Littéraire. That's the start of the literary season here in France. And Cathy, maybe we should start perhaps by trying to explain a little bit to our viewers what that is. Quite a unique thing, really. Well, yes, here in France, it's a major event in the literary calendar uh, between Late August and uh, October, all the French publishing houses are releasing um, a load of books, not just in French, uh, many French authors, also translations, fiction, non-fiction, um, and there's a real media buzz around this time. Uh, and uh, you know, many French book lovers really associate that crisp aut autumnal period with going to bookstores, browsing, discovering new authors. Um, it's also the time when the main literary prizes announce their, their shortlists as well. Indeed, it's a very strange time, loads of book fairs and people stocking up on, on new reads. But this year, not quite as big, apparently, as previous ones. Well, yeah, um, apparently this is the lowest uh, number of books released um, in 20 years, so 524 uh, books have been released. So it sounds like quite a lot, but apparently this is a 7% drop on on last year. That's according to the industry magazine uh, Livre Hebdo. And so it really shows uh, that increasing fragility in the book industry, uh, particularly in France, in a country where we're told the book industry has been sort of hanging on better than elsewhere. Yeah, indeed, as a book lover, I hope that it's just a temporary dip and not a sign of things to come. But there's still quite a few to choose from, Cathy. You've picked out a few of your favourites for us. Let's start with Une joie féroce, which roughly translates as a fierce joy. Uh, yes, uh, so this is uh, Une joie féroce is about um, a reserved librarian, Jeanne, who goes off the rails. I love a character uh, misbehaving. Uh, so basically, when Jeanne's life falls apart, she discovers uh, that she has cancer and her husband then leaves her. All this after their young son has, has died a few years before. Uh, and then the book is centred around uh, the friendship of with three women that she's met in, in chemotherapy. And the author, uh, Sorge Chandelin, he, he spoke to France 24 and he told us um, how the story was actually inspired by his own wife's uh, battle with cancer. Book about cancer, it's about how we survive. What do we do when we have cancer? And these women will decide to hold up their heads and fight. They were women who had lost their spark and who will become warriors. It's a terrible thing to say, but this is a book that was written thanks to cancer. These women will regain their lives thanks to illness. And with these themes in mind, you might expect quite a serious, heavy read. I know I did. Uh, but when I opened it, the first few pages, uh, you find yourself in, in central Paris, uh, four women getting out of a stolen car, uh, disguised, fake weapons. They're about to, to rob a... a a jewelry store. Um, so you find yourself straight away drawn in. It it then goes back. This is a flash forward to the end of the book, uh, and we then go to the start of the story where Jeanne is being diagnosed. A very painful, lonely moment. So you, straight away you're asking yourself, how do we get to such a improbable event? Uh, yeah, a turnaround. <laughs> I guess it's that uh, fascinating story of how she's physically getting sicker and mentally stronger. I have to say, I'm. I, my interest is certainly uh, a perk to, on that one. You've also, however, I can see it there in front of you, Cathy, you've been reading a, a first novel, a debut novel, from a Franco-British playwright, Alexis Michelac, uh, somebody very well known here in France. Uh, yes, absolutely. You might have heard of his, uh, his play Edmond, which has been a huge hit here in France. This is his first novel, uh, Loin, um, or Far. It uh, centres around the character of Antoine, um, his father disappeared when he was a little boy and then one day when he's in his mid-twenties he discovers a, a, post, a postcard which his father sent his mother after he left uh, but this postcard has been lost in the post for, for the past 20 years. Uh, so Antoine sets off on an adventure with his uh, best friend and his little sister with this one clue uh, on a voyage of discovery. Now I, I really enjoyed the dialogue, um, I also really uh, love the, the narrative style as well. It's told from the point of view of uh, not Antoine, but his uh, best friend Laurent. Uh, so that adds an interesting perspective. It, you can also feel the theatrical line running through it because um, this narrator switches from the third to the first person and that works well because it feels like a character on stage sort of launching into, into monologue. Um, so it, and it's a witty book as well, but 
also deals with some quite deep themes. It explores uh, this really close emotional male friendship, which I enjoyed, and uh, looks at the theme of travel through the, the prism, uh, the theme of identity through the prism of, of travel. Oh yeah, interesting one. And I like not a lot of books, that, well, that I've read anyway, touch on that uh, male bonding, which we've always been told uh, they're not quite as successful at as us women. Well, in total, I believe there's 82 debut novels being released this year alone. There's another one that stood out to you, Cathy, and it brings us some perhaps surprising history from Paris. Yes, uh, La Belle des Folles, or The Mad Woman's Ball by Victor Victoria Mass. It's set in the late 1800s in a Paris asylum. Um, and so, of course, back then, if you're a woman, on the on the whim, the mere whim of a male relative, you could be committed from anything from mild eccentricity to 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 trauma, being diagnosed as uh, the old female hysteria. Um, and there was a famous neurologist called Dr. Charcot who would give these public workshops in Paris, and and Parisians would also come to, the, to an annual ball within the hospital where they would observe these women dancing in their ball gowns. Very uh, strange. Very strange. <laughs> so the fictional plot within the story is set within this uh, histor historical setting. Uh, it revolves around Eugenie, who's this uh, a rich girl who's been brought to the asylum by her father because she believes she can communicate with the dead. Uh, now, don't get me wrong, I, I really love a ghost story, but in, in this particular context, I, I felt that there was already an, enough of a um, rich setting, really. I, I think the extra um, just too element much, of the spiritual, really. spiritual element was just a little bit too much for me. I was left wanting more detail on these women and their lives and, and their treatment. Indeed. Give us an insight. Let us sit in that hospital and mm. understand more. It yeah. sounds absolutely fascinating. <laughs> uh, Cathy, thanks a lot for that taste of what, uh, just a selection of the few of the 500 and plus more new books that are being released here in France for the Rentrée Littéraire. Cathy Kadir Clifford there, our book reviewer. And that's where we're going to have to leave it, unfortunately, for this edition of Live.